Hey girl, hey. I know it's been a minute, but get in because your girl's been shopping at Ulta and I know you want to know what I got. So let's go. Hey girl, hey, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. If you're new here, my name is Bianca. Get acquainted, join the family. Most importantly, make sure you subscribe. And if you're not new here, Hey girl, welcome back friends. I have a little haul for y'all today. If you can tell by the video, it's an Ulta haul. Now, I've been to Ulta about 20 times in the last month and a half. So this is everything I've purchased from June and July. Today is like July 15th or 16th. So yeah, I'm done for the rest of the month. So it's safe to do this video. We have a lot of categories. We have skin, we have body, we have hair, we have makeup, we have miscellaneous, y'all. Like, I kid you not, miscellaneous. Y'all love when I spend money. Y'all love my Ulta haul, so I figured why not bring y'all a massive one. And if you're interested in seeing what I spent my coin on, just keep on watching. We're gonna get straight into it. Starting off with, let's start off with skin because we always start off with skin here. So skin. I decided I tried my hardest to like separate each bag as the category to make this go quicker. So first up for skin, I got the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Brightening Serum. I love this product. So funny story, I actually got this um, gifted to me from Sunday Riley, and I used it all up, bodied it, like body. Then went to check the price on the baby. <laughs> And I was like, hmm. <laughs> boy, will that humble you. Um, This goes for the about, this is the middle size. The middle one costs about $85. Mm -hmm. um, nonetheless, $85 total, totally worth it. Hence why I repurchased it with my own money. Um, I mean, any valuable vitamin C product you purchase is going to be pricey. I don't think I found a decent, like real good vitamin C product that's cheap. If I'm being honest. So, I mean, you got to invest in your skincare. Bottom line, get you, get you one. What I like about Ulta is that the reward system is a lot better than other beauty stores. Um, so you get more bang for your buck when you spend money there. So that's why I decided to purchase this at Ulta. Um, Cause if I'm spending $85, I want a little bit of reward back, yeah? Okay, so next is the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Blemish Busting Toner. So I've been having a little trouble finding a toner that I'm like obsessed with and love with. Um, I recently tried the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner and it broke me out. So we're taking a break from her. Um, but I see a lot of people talk about this on TikTok. So I wanna give this a try. Um, I can't speak much on it, but it says clarify and strengthen for even clear skin. And it's a blemish busting toner. So we'll see how this goes. And also from Peach Slices, I just picked up some acne dots. Um, these are my favorite. It's between these and Hero. Honestly, they both work for me. I just some, I don't know, I just always gravitate to peach slices more. But if I'm being honest, they both work perfectly fine. And lastly, for skincare is the Black Girl Sunscreen, the Make It Matte um, formula. Cause I've used their regular general formula, the first one that came out, which was 30 SPF. Love it, it gives you a nice glow. But um, I'm a grease ball without any product. So with that product, it gave grease ball. And again, I'm not blaming it on that product because I, I produce oil like no one's business. So I decided to try this one instead. And I love, I have used this. I love the, I just love the product. I love the consistency. It comes out like a gel form and it mattifies your skin, but you still have a sheer glow. Cause I was, I was looking for matte, like a matte sunscreen. Come to find out, no, that's not what I wanted. I want a sunscreen where I can still look like a healthy glow, but I'm not a grease ball. If you're like me and you get really oily T-zone, try this one. I think you'll like it. It still has that sheer finish, but without the greasiness. Okay, that's it for skin. Let's get into hair. So for hair, I don't have a lot of products. So we'll start off with the Camille Rose. I got the moisture milk and the Coco Nibs and Honey Oil. I love these two for my natural hair. I use this on a day-to-day -day whenever I need like some extra moisture in my hair if it's feeling dry or if I just wanna keep up, keep maintaining it. 
after it's blow dried until I do my next wash day. And then this oil is my hydrating oil. So I have a few different oils for a few different reasons. This is an oil I will use for hydration if I feel like my scalp is dry or my strands is dry. So I'll put on my leave-in conditioner and then I'll seal it in with oil. These, this combo together, fire. Next for hair, since we were just talking about oils, I decided to get this TGIN Miracle Repair X Anti-Breakage Serum. Now I've already used this. So prior to getting the style in my hair, I did a hot oil treatment with this. And when I tell y'all, I don't know, I told y'all in other videos, I don't know if I have shedding, breakage, or both, but when I tell you I had no hair, like in the shower, like none, like it was actually kind of scary. So I'm gonna say that I'm having breakage and that this is anti-breakage. Again, I've only used it right before I got this style. So I can't speak too much on it, but um, you guys will definitely be hearing more of this and more videos coming soon regarding my hair care. And lastly for hair, I picked up recently the Curl Smith Core Shrimp Shampoo. So this is like protein based, um, anti-breakage. It says for damaged hair. It has wild rice protein, pressed hemp oil, shredded kale, guava juice, pumpkin seed, a whole lot of goods. Um, it's vegan, cruelty free, yada, 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 yada. No silicone, you get the point. Um, I love the shampoo on my hair. Again, I've been focusing on more protein related products just to strengthen my hair as much as I can. So I did use this as well along with that oil. And then I went in with a more hydrating moisturizing conditioner just to bring the moisture back to my hair. And I noticed a huge difference. So I'm gonna keep this in the rotation, especially on my protein-ish days and see if I see a real difference overall with my hair maintenance. That's it for hair. I need some water. Okay, let's do makeup. First, I think I've showed y'all this, if not once, twice, a thousand times. I use the Kiss Impress Falsies. I love these so, so much. I don't think I told you guys though, I use, so these are the ones that the glue are on. So you don't technically need glue for these, but I still use the False Scarra glue, the one that you place on like mascara. With these, they're gonna last you like 10 days. I kid you not. If you're looking for like a little longer lasting situation, I would say get the Impress ones in either. This is, I bought Voluminous. I go back and forth between Voluminous, Spiky, and Glamorous. It just depends on my mood. Um, but get the Impress ones and use the Fall Scarab Glue. Thank me later. Okay, let's do NARS. I got a few NARS products. I'm like a few. I got two, right? Yeah, I got two NARS products. So I picked up the NARS Laguna 6 Bronzer. She's gorge. Um, if you guys seen in my last vlog, I used the old Laguna, the one that didn't have a number. And it was a little too cool for me, so I decided to finally try the number 6. I got the mini to make sure that I like it, but I love it. I just don't hit pan on bronzers that quickly, so I felt like this will last for me a really long time and then i also picked up their liquid blush in the shade orgasm now this is really cute i actually tried it today um this is definitely this is what it looks like i don't know if you guys can see this is what it looks like it's definitely like a faint faint pink so this is perfect for like an everyday look where you're not doing too much makeup. You just want to put a little bit, you apply it with your fingers. It's very lightweight. It is buildable though, but it's very, very lightweight and kind of sheer almost. And you can build it up with no makeup or like a very light everyday makeup look. And then for MAC, I picked up a few things. So I don't know if y'all saw that MAC is now selling like lip combos from certain influencers. So I know I've seen Arnell combo, and I know I've seen Jodi Woods. So I went with Jodi Woods because her and I are the same skin complexion, but she goes for like the bronzy, blushy look. Um, so I wanted to try her combo. Now I cannot remember if her lip liner was chestnut or cork, but nonetheless, I tried chestnut and it was way too dark. I think I'm gonna keep onto this though, for when I'm doing like an evening, a dark evening look, 
but this was too dark. So I did cork. I have it on right now. I did cork. And then I did please me in the lip gloss. So let me show you guys. That's what I put for the filler. It's like a nice rosy pink. And then um, I did the clear lip gloss on top. And I love it. I love it. Y'all know um, I have like my two lip, like my two lip combos that are my faves right now. So this is gonna be my third. Granted, they're all similar, but that ain't nobody's business but mine. And that's it for makeup. Lastly, we have body care. And then I think body care will segue into miscellaneous really, really well. So for body care, first up, I got the Osea Andaria Algae Body Oil. I may have butchered that, but this is the body oil right here. I've had my eye on this body oil for a really, really long time. So I finally decided to pull the trigger on it, see how I like it, um, especially because it's summertime. So when I'm going out in the evening and I want to give that nice glow, but not like greasy again, I really wanted to try this oil. I know that they use like seaweed. They, they infuse their oil with seaweed and it's supposed to be a really like natural brand or whatever. So we're going to see. And I'll keep you guys updated. I hope I like it. I really hope I like it because I think that was like $56. Excuse me. So hopefully I like that. Next, I picked up the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Moisturizing Shaving Gel or Shaving Oil. So I went back to shaving. But the problem with that is my underarms are really dark and I'm really light. You see the dilemma? Yeah. So I finally think I came up with a shaving routine that is brightening up my underarm area and leaving a very smooth shade. And this is one of the products that are playing a huge part in that right now. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys that kind of body care routine shortly because summer is here, we're in its prime, and yeah, I need to make sure the girls are on it. If you're not new to my channel, then you know me and Tree Hut, I don't really, mm. not mm, just, I just think their exfoliating scrubs are not it. That's really it. But I must say the shave oil has done miracles so far so i'll keep you guys updated i got the tropic glow because it smelled the most like a coconut ish vibe i know they have a tahitian vanilla one but at the time when i went it was sold out i didn't feel like waiting for it so i just grabbed this this goes with my next item scent wise um the way body cream in saint bart's because you guys know i also have the body scrub so i picked up the body cream or body butter as well smells really really good just like the scrub and if you guys watched i think when i initially purchased the scrub my biggest problem with the product was that the scent does not come with you out the shower so i'm glad that way listened to us because i'm not the only person that critiqued them i hope i wasn't um so i love that they came out with this so that you can bring the smell outside the shower with you um love that for us that's it for body, so let's get into miscellaneous. First up on miscellaneous are the Crest 3D White Strips. Honestly, you can get this from your supermarket. I just happen to be in there, and again, like I told y'all, Ulta has the best, I feel, reward system when it comes to purchases. So i rather just get rewards for this versus getting them at Walmart where I don't get rewards. So I got some 3D Crest Wipes. 3D Crest, what? Crest 3D White Strips. Yes, I got those. Um, while we're on oral, I also picked up a Therabrush, Therabreath mouthwash because I just ran out of mine. Again, you can purchase this in a supermarket. I like my points. So I picked it up from Ulta because they had it. Um, I also got the Ashwagandha gummies from Gali, Goli. Actually, I did not pick these up. Robert picked these up. He was interested in trying them. So we are going to try them. It says relax, restore, and unwind. That sounds like something I need to be taking at night. If you guys take ashwagandha gummies or any type of ashwagandha products, when do y'all take them? Morning or night? Because for relax, restore, and unwind, that's giving evening vibes. I also picked up, I've been wanting to get one of these for the longest, honestly. I don't. I just kept walking past them and I finally decided to 
to grab me a little hand sanitizer, the Touchlin one. This is the Vanilla Blossom. If you know me, you know I love vanilla. Let's see how it smells. Oh, it's like a nice mist. Oh, that smells really good. Okay, cool. So I can keep that in my purse because now I carry like smaller purses. So I think this is pretty compact and like kind of thin, so it could fit right in there. And then lastly, I picked up this Ness weed diffuser. So like the oil diffuser with the little wooden sticks in it. Um, this is also something I wanted to try. And again, I purchased it because of the points. So I figured, let me try it. Uh, it smells really good in the store. I don't know. I don't want to say Ness does it sell a vanilla-ish or like a gourmand-ish scent Ulta. The Ulta I have near me did not have one. So I'm contemplating taking this back if I find out that Ness actually has a scent that I'm interested in. But the problem is I want to smell them first. So I would have to go to a location that has them for me to smell. Um, but this is what it looks like. I'll show y'all. I'm sure y'all seen them before. So these are the bamboo wooden sticks. And then this is the bottle. So it's really cute, it's really sleek, it's white, which is perfect. And then you just stick the bamboo sticks in there and then the aroma begins to flow. I don't remember how, this is more of like a clean scent. I got the, the scent Ocean Mist and Sea Salt. So I'm probably gonna leave this in the entryway, that way my house always smells good. Um, And I'll keep y'all updated. I wanted to see how long it lasts, because this was also, about 50 or 60 dollars so we'll see what it gets all right y'all so that's it for this haul comment down below if y'all see anything y'all been looking at wanted to know more about and let me know what y'all need feedback on out of this video so i know what to keep y'all updated on i hope you guys enjoyed this haul i'm sorry i'm back um well this is a welcome back for me a welcome back for y'all I have some videos planned for y'all for the rest of the month. So I hope you guys are ready. Of course, if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. And if you like this video, give me a huge thumbs up. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.